Okay, guys, welcome back. Hit pause back. This actually took me a lot shorter amount of time than I thought it would. Uh, but let's just go through it one more time really quick. On receive activation, we cast to our uh, AI controller, and we go ahead and set that as a variable. Uh, we get that controller's pawn, and then we cast that to the actual AI character. Okay, and we store that as a variable for later use. Then we open a gate for tick to actually go through. We get the distance between the player character and the AI character. If it is greater than 800, um, true we set the yeah that's that's correct if it's greater than 800 uh, we don't care so we just set the value of can see player here to be false okay you can see that's hooked in right there uh, if it is false which means it's closer than 800 then we go ahead and run our line check we go from the AI characters location uh, a little plus 24 just to get it out of his crotch uh, to the player characters location same thing start and end our object type here uh, we're looking for world static, world dynamic, and pawn because we want all those things to block this trace. We add ourselves to an array here, uh, the AI character, so that that gets ignored so he doesn't block his own trace. Okay, uh, we only move out if we hit something, which will pretty much always be true in this ca case of this map. Uh, and if it is true, then we check uh, whether or not the hit actor equals our player character. And if that's true, we said that we can see him, and if not, we said that we can't. That's it. That's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and add that to the uh, behavior tree now. So we add service, check for player. Okay, now the service check for player has this can see player, and I wanted to do this on purpose. Um, what you'll notice is that when I go to my behavior tree, that if I select this service, I don't actually have any way to tell what that key is. And the reason for that is because this needs to be exposed Okay, so once I expose that, you'll see that when I click this, I actually can, it gives me a, here's the key that I've named, or what I want to associate that with. So I just want to associate that with can't see player. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if anything's happening. Not yet. Okay, he's still not moving. Doesn't see us. So let's see. We need to make sure that the behavior tree is running. Um, so we'll say can't see player, can't see player is set. Blackboard key will actually be moved to point. That was wrong. Okay, you still can't see us yet, but let's go ahead and... Dang it, I can never get out of there. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the... So can see player is true move to point is invalid so move to point is set but it's invalid now it's constantly checking this let's go ahead and make sure that that check is going a little bit slower so let's check our so context player should be getting the player pawn I believe that's correct I'll just, uh, yeah, get player pawn is what we use, and that did work. Bot himself should be that, but I'm not even using that. So I can see the player, so I am running this check. It uh, automatically organizes this based on the weight on how expensive each test is. The cheapest tests, I believe, go first. So let me look here really quick at this setup. Now, I'm going to keep this open for you guys. Uh, this is basically our settings that were working for us before. So I am going to just see here really quick. This is the query, this is the test, the player is prefer lesser, query is lesser, that's greater, EQS test on visibility, um, let me click that open here, and let's just run a check on that, and that is A here, so visibility line blocking value test player score only value plus one 
blocking his trace to item is checked. Okay, let's do distance to querier and let's check that really quick. I screwed something up somewhere because he ain't moving. So distance to querier is C, so that would be distance 3D. Environment query context querier, I believe, is correct. Score only linear. Scoring equation clamping. Scoring equation linear. Did I did we stick with linear there? Yeah, it looks like linear value of negative one. That's correct. And then the last one would be distance to player. So let's check that. Distance to player here is A. Distance to player. Distance to EQ context player. No, that's the trace. Distance to player is B. So it's distance 3D. Player score only, none, none, linear, and a value of one. So that is correct. So I think that what's going on is that this query blackboard key, ah, query template. I never told it what query template to use. Hey, hey, read Ted. Let's see if that works. Yep, there he goes. See, yeah, he's hiding from me. <laughs> right? Is that fucking awesome? And now he knows where to hide. Uh, he isn't always able to update it, so great. Right. If I chase him around, he's basically always looking for a place to hide. It's not perfect, you know, you can see that he kind of tries to stay right on the edge, but that could actually be kind of desirable, to be honest with you. I mean, you can still shoot his ass, you know? But he's taking cover. And you can run more checks to make sure that he's looking at you. Every once in a while he doesn't update unless you move, which is kind of weird. But, I mean, essentially working. I think it, you know, the, it's, like I said, it's experimental. They're going to do some checks on it. Uh, some, you know, I'm sure they're going to, you know, give more types of checks and whatnot and clean it up and things like that because it is a little confusing at first but once you realize how to you know how how to actually get the stuff to actually trigger it's totally awesome it's totally totally awesome so I could pretty much I believe I can just increase the um the distance here to say like 1500 or something and he should probably want to be farther away. See, he can find that one now. See, and he doesn't know I'm here. And as soon as I bust out, boom, he goes and he hides over there. <laughs> He's a total pussy. Come here, you wuss. See, now in this case, he like couldn't find one that was right on that edge. Now the other thing you could do too is um, on the the distance to player here, you could actually tell him to prefer the closest one. So now he'll try to find the closest point to me. See, he just goes like right around the corner. Now my trace is a little bit, uh, my trace probably needs to be a little bit farther because I'm only tracing out 800 now. See how he wants to get to the close one? And he goes to the closest one to him. <laughs> this is so freaking cool. It's not like you can't catch him, you know? So, you know, it's not totally 100%. The other thing you could do is, uh, you know, if you wanted to, you could make like a sphere marker or something and have that instead of moving to that, you could make like a, a quick task that teleported it to a, that exact spot instantaneously as soon as the check was ran and that would basically give you like a so like if I come up and I sneak up on him you should want to go to this one yeah see he wants to hide behind this block now And that was the closest one that he could find that was close to me. <laughs> he 
<laughs> it's so much fun. It's so cool. So that's a set. That's almost like. Let me see if I do my uh, check for player. Let me let me run a uh, longer. Uh, I'll allow for him to trace pretty much as far as the map goes there. So I'll come over here. See, now he wants to run to this one. So I'll ditch around over to here and then try to spot him and see if he wants to come to one that's closer. Yeah, see? He wants to get stay as close to me as he can. So he should want to come to this one now, if I can. Kind of kind of acts, a, like I said, acts a little weird. See, he just ducks around that corner. I would think that he'd want to get to this one here. This one's closer to me than that one is. But remember, he's going for the one that's closest to him, too. See, now he wants to ditch for on this one. And now he wants to ditch around this one. See? He's looking for... He's just trying to stay right out of my sight. Now, if you don't do the one that's closest to him, uh, there's a lot of times he'll run, like, through you to get to the other side. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel that this, that this check right here is really important. Uh, the distance to query or to prefer less because like I said it prevents the character from like if say let's just assume that this is the player world here I'll just do it like this um, if 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 he's here right and that's me let's assume he's me um, he'll sometimes he'll see that okay this is the you know if I don't care which one's closest to me one of these points over here might get scored as a one and he'll run all the way past you and then when you move again, he might score this one over here as a one, and he'll keep doing like this kind of thing where he moves like through you and past you, and it's just like the idiot behavior, you know. So if you run the check to make sure that he only goes to the ones that are closest to himself, then he tends to, they, they tend to like you know perform a little bit better and seem a little bit smarter about what they're doing, you know. But uh, yeah, there he goes, and he ditches behind the block. <laughs> oh man, it's just so much fun. There's going to be so many possibilities here. The AI is going to be so great in Unreal Engine 4 games. It really is. Uh, you could definitely, definitely, definitely do uh, something that is... And there's nothing stopping you from marking some of these areas as cover nodes and then having him, you know, be ducked around the corner, peeking out, shooting, peeking out, shooting, you know, doing that kind of behavior. Um, and the cool, the most awesome thing is, what you could do is you could say, hey, give me all the points that he can't see, and I'll give me the closest cover node, and then maybe run a trace check to this cover node and see if he can see that. If he can't see that, that's the best cover node I can go to, and I'm going to hide here, and I'm going to shoot at your ass. So, thanks for watching. Hit pause sign out.